Guten Tag, chess amigos. Welcome back to the grind. Okie dokie. Playing the London system, my new favorite opening. I think I may have been playing it slightly wrong. So... There's two ways to play it. Either get the knight out on f3, or push the pawn to e3. Um, I kind of want to experiment with pushing the pawn to e3 first. I've been playing knight first, but um, yeah, I don't know. I'm tempted to try to just get my knight out onto e5 and just trade off right away. I, I really just want to try knight e5. I've been um, I've been wanting to do that a lot, <laughs> but for some reason I just can't seem to do it. It just seems too easy to not do it. Playing a child from Argentina. I'm literally terrified. Yeah. Okay. So. How can we do some damage here? What can we do to defend this? Uh, I suppose a3 is really the only move we can make, right? Hmm. And a3 followed up by c3. Yeah, we have to put more defense on c2. Fifty seconds, not bad. <laughs> As some might say. I think C three is gonna be uh I guess C three is not the play. Hmm. Could always go D three. Sort of just trade the pawns off here. Hmm. I think that was a really good move for me. Um, I potentially have check. Ah, uh, no. You would just block with the pawn there. Um, let's go d3. I can always, I can just take with a c pawn and then take with the queen. Um, or take with the e pawn. I don't know what's worse. I like the idea of sort of taking towards the center, but I think no matter what happens, our next move is going to be c3. Yeah, so that's that's totally fine. Um, so the question is, do we take with the c pawn or the e pawn? Either way, I'm kind of blocking my bishop in, which is a slight problem. Mm, but I do like having the ability to go c4. Um, I'll take with the e-pawn. Okay. Now, which way do we want to fall back? E3 really blocks the bishop in. Doesn't give him a ton of space. I prefer to go G3 so I can at least make a cubby over here on H2. I could also just go backwards as well. I always have to remember that. Don't necessarily have to go there. Hmm. Yeah, this pawn situation is really unfortunate. 
Actually, isn't this just mate? <laughs> uh, no, wait. It's going to be really close to mate. Do I really want to get my queen out here, though? I think it's worth it, right? Queen h5, forcing his... Uh... Hmm. Oh, no, he can block with the bishop, and that's kind of annoying. Oh, and then I would just lose my bishop. Right, 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 right. Okay, so that's not going to be a viable plan of attack. Uh, okay, well, glad we did that check. Let's just run it back to the center. I have a really weak d-pawn. Something I just need to keep in mind. Uh, I wasted kind of too much time on that move. I was trying to be clever with the check and the possibility of mate there, but it wasn't going to work. If his bishop wasn't on this diagonal, it would have been possible. Or really, if his bishop wouldn't have been on these two squares. Yeah. Uh, I think I won a game about, what was it? three or four days ago no, i think it was on saturday so it must have been like five days ago i forget exactly what day it was but it was like a eight move mate with queen h5 and the king didn't have anywhere to run the opponent just didn't develop their pieces i want to say i'm in a bit of a better position here mainly because He's made his kingside castle so weak with uh, pushing f, uh, was it f6, g5? Hmm. Yeah, it's probably time to start castling. So, where could this be going? I do plain just have c4 as well uh, i'm just gonna play c4 i have a lot of backup on c4 he really just has the lowly pawn if he doesn't take it i'll probably just push i don't want to um stack my pawns on the b file any more than i need to here This also would have been an interesting time to play h5. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't play h5. He's got the bishop here. I need to just get that into my head. No, I can't play h5 until his bishop is gone, at least. Or off of this diagonal. Or this square, too. Yeah, I can't really make any lateral moves if I were to go h5. Um, really tempted to just push up. Honestly. Or maybe I let him take. Maybe I let him take and sort of fix my pawns here. Or push. Mm. Mm, hard to say. Could always look for the uh, the bishop check here as well. Why don't I just do that? I actually wouldn't mind trading off bishops on g6. Hmm. Hmm. 
Interesting. Guess that is okay for him. I I mean it'd be kind of crazy not to take, right? I don't know what's more important. The check. I think I have to take here in case I do some checking business and try to get my queen out. Uh, I wouldn't mind having the bishop on this diagonal. That would sort of force him to make some decisions. I really want to play bishop h h5 next. That'd be the dream scenario. Yeah, I kind of failed to notice that my knight was uh, attacked there. Um, That's technically a discovered attack, I think. Um, It probably would have been better if I was... How could I really defend that? Hmm, should I have moved this? Yeah, I suppose I could have went like knight b5 or something. Didn't really want to fall back to c2 here. It doesn't seem like the move. Okay. Hmm. Pretty sure I can just take this pawn. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate that I did just give up a defender there. I mean, I think he's going to be forced to move his pawn back so he doesn't lose his right to castle, but either way, I'm going to go for the Capture on g6, uh, just so he can't take this pawn. And then I'll probably put my queen in that spot. Yeah, he has, he has to, yeah, okay. So we're going to go for this just so we don't lose this pawn on d3. Yeah, so now his pawns are... A bit unfortunate as well, and we kind of have to take this pawn and go for the even trade, and then I can pin this pawn as well. Yeah, he didn't want to lose his right to castle, so I don't blame him. Also, this is uh, another pawn here too. Yeah, I believe I have... Yeah. Yeah, this should win another pawn as well. C4 is paying off. If he goes something like queen e7 or queen e6 after I take the pawn, I can always run it back to e3. That's... uh protected by the f-pawn. I do have a hanging pawn here um, at the moment too that I need to uh, think about. Interesting. Ah, so he's just going to save his pawn there, huh? Yeah, 
He's just going to push. Hmm. How bad is this going to be? He pushes. Maybe it's time to castle. Can't take the pawn. Just feel like the pawn push so early is gonna lose me a rook. I don't know. I'm not going to calculate that too hard. Um, I'm just starting to get worried about the sort of the open H file here. I kind of tend to forget about these every once in a while. Or not forget about them, but I tend to do not so great when I start to get uh, rook pins down the G and the H files. Mostly the G file. Yeah, so that's what I was worried about. Um, this is fine. I can just add another defender here. And then next I can take this pawn as well. Yeah, I, obviously I can't push up, but... Uh, hmm. This did become pretty interesting with this open file, but... I think for the time being I have to protect the h-pawn and... Uh, Prevent a mate in one. I um, also have. Uh, ah, that's a really unfortunate move. Um, I guess I can still protect this way. It's probably my best hope here. I do still have g4. G4 is hanging. Ah, I see what he did there. Well, might be a good time to start pressuring the open file. <laughs> or semi-open file. Do have just a plain free pawn too. Uh, the question is, do I want to stack it though? the biggest threat at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. If he blocks with the queen, I'll trade. I'll, I'll be happy to trade. I just simplify this game off. He can do that too. Hmm. We have to get the rooks involved. Um ah. His pawn is pinned. He basically has to move his king, right? His, his queen's in a sort of a bad position. Yeah, that is a good move for him, isn't it? Gosh, does he just have mate here? Do I sort of have to sack the queen? <laughs> oh no. No, he just has mate. Let's think. Boom, boom. Boom, boom.
Uh, it's a rough spot. Yeah, it's a bummer. Maybe I should have pushed the pawn up and just protected from d6. Okay, so this is mate. I think I have to give the bishop up, right? How do we win this? There was the queen sack, but I don't think that's the play. I'm going to have to take with the F pawn. It's actually not the worst because it opens up an open file for the rook and then his king can't escape on the F uh, file. I think this is okay for now. Yeah, so, no, actually, no. So if he takes, I have to start looking for checks. Also, maybe I just move my rook out so my... um. My king can move to the left. Maybe that's the play. Yeah, maybe I should have just pushed this pawn up earlier so I could have pressured his rook as well, since his rook is uh, stuck. Hmm. Yeah, definitely some misplays with this bishop and this pawn here. But I think he's recognizing the fact that Oh, I'm going to have a check. I mean, I guess he could still castle here. Um, let's see if he moves over two squares. Yeah, I won't be able to deliver check anymore. So I honestly think castling is his best bet here. Hmm. Mm, this is actually really good. I don't know how great that is, but um, you have check here. Hmm. I'm going to have to start. I think I have to push him to the left so I can sort of utilize the rooks. Oh, but I can't check there. This is going to be tough. I think I have to get a rook out. At least pressure the queen or something. Yeah. This is kind of where my really late rook development is always getting me. Hmm. This does win the queen. You know, I'm just going to go for the queen. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Is this good? No, this is actually really bad for me. Ah, oh, no, I do, I do have check this way. How do I follow this up? Man, his uh, knight's really encroaching on my style here. Hmm, I could always fall back, protect the bishop. Mm, that is an interesting move to g4. I'm honestly going to go for g4. If he takes the pawn, I'll just take, but at least I'm still protecting h2. I, I know that Looks like a really weird move. Yeah. So I still do have some defense. If he if he wants to trade off queens, uh, that's fine. I'll probably be looking for rookie one next, and at least sort of getting my king out of this really uncomfortable position.
I also could just push h3 at this point, and it would sort of negate this whole idea with his battery that he has going on down here. So I have two passed pawns at this point. Um, so now is probably a good idea to probably start thinking about helping these up the board. I really liked his knight move. Um, that was a uh, clever find, protecting the king that way. I think he's just protecting the pawn, but um, could start looking for checks this way. This would let my king breathe as well. I'm going to play it just really safe and go h3, uh, but then he does have uh, the play there. Oh, that's a really, really uncomfortable move. What does he have here? I do have a check. Like to stop his pawn from advancing. I have to protect my queen here. Um, I could always pin his knight. He'll be forced to defend this. He might just... No, he can't move his king up. He might move his queen. And I'll just pin the knight. He'll be forced to defend this somehow, so... Yeah, I really want to get the rooks out, and it's killing me to have them be here for so long, but, you know, what can you do? I really should just be looking for the queen trade, honestly, at this point. Let's see, can he defend this? No. How can he block? He can go in here. I just want to trade the queens off, honestly, but maybe it's just time to get a rook out and start pushing. This is an interesting idea as well. Pinning this way. Hmm. I'm going to get a rook out and maybe just start pushing, trying to push the pawns up a little bit. I think he may push g4 next. I kind of want to get the king out onto, uh, or do I? I don't know. I don't really want to give him the option of sort of opening up the H file and just throwing a rook down here. See, I'd like to go C6, trade the queens off, but I just have a feeling he's going to tuck his king in here, which maybe that's good for me. But and so I, I just really need to play with my other pieces. So Actually, I do have... um like c1, c6, and then that should just win the queen. Unless he were to block with the, with the knight. But even then, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, C1, C6. That's going to be a really good move, I feel like. Just think about this. Yeah, because I'm blocking off the escape for his king. Oh, I think what he's going to do is um, look for a knight move. If he moves his knight, I'll just move over. Um, I'll probably just move over to g4. I'm really trying to get the skewer on the queen here. I think he's going to move his knight one way or the other. Um, it's fine. Yeah, c6 should be a deadly move, but... Yeah, so that's a bit expected. What's he have next? He has the check, but I take. Hmm. He has the check here. Can't go there. Hmm. I guess we could just trade queens off, huh? Oh no, because then he could block with the... Let me think about this. Oh, right, right, right. No, I can't go c6. He's defending that. Oh, kind of an awkward square for me. Hmm. Maybe I still want to defend. I do like. I think I have to go g4. If he takes, I can just take with the king. Uh, I have pressure on his knight. And I do believe I still... I guess we won't win the queen, but we'll just trade a rook off and simplify the game. Try to push the pawn as well. Hmm. Can I just go for the pawn push? He takes with the knight, I take with the rook, and then we can trade off rooks and I win a knight. Interesting. Good move by him. So it's like a d7, d7 idea, d7, d6. Um, let's see here. No, I can't go d7 if he attacks with the rook. 
I don't have another place to check. Bit awkward, but I think I have to fall back to. I have to fall back to G3 here. I'll probably go for Rook E4. Oh, this is really awkward. Ugh. That feels really bad. Yeah, that, that feels really bad. Uh, no, this is okay, actually. Awkward, but it's okay. Sadly, my only escape square. I have c6 next. Should win the queen. His rook's blocked in from uh, f f6. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, he can only block with his knight there. And then he'll have to block with his rook if I go c6. Yeah, c6 is going to be a killer move. Um, I think he has to throw his rook onto f6 if he wants to protect that. Yeah, that's fine. Honestly, even if he went for that, I, I would have been okay just trading off the queens here at this point. fine should still win wins a rook at least or excuse me that wins a knight we trade off rooks i'm happy to get rid of this rook honestly I can push this pawn up next. Oh, that's just a queen. Right. Okay. How do we how do we cause some damage here? I don't want to block my queen in so hard, but I just push up, takes with the rook, then I can at least get out. He takes with the rook. I don't want to give him my queen. No, but I need two defenders here. I'll just trade off. If he doesn't trade, um, I can just go rook g4. Yeah. That's fine. I'll have to make sure that my king is defending these two pawns. I 
I'll have to play fast, but just not blunder. I'm going to be looking for uh, an opportunity to honestly just And he'll move, but oh, um, this is fine. I have so many more pawns. Um, this is fine. Honestly, I can just run one or two of these pawns up the board, and I'll be fine. Ah, kind of messed up there. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Which one do I want more? Probably doesn't matter, huh? Hmm, I probably should have moved my king there, huh? Probably should take the pawn. Hmm. I believe this is just mate. F8 should just be mate. So attacked, 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 attacked. This is not mate. Where does he go? Oh, I see. Well, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Let's, uh, wonder if we do this the respectful or the disrespectful way. Um, I think I'll just be looking to do a king queen uh, mate here. Get some uh, king queen uh, checkmate patterns going. I've been practicing this one quite a bit, so I should be fairly familiar with it. Then we go here and mate. Nice. Yeah, I practiced that mating pattern quite a bit last week, so that kind of paid off. Yeah, good game, though. Good game. Yeah, no, really good game. That was really fun. Three misses, so let's see. Let's do a stat check. 75%, 62% from the opponent. Uh, 1,200 from me and 200 from the opponent. I don't think that can be right. There's just, there's no way that's right. Okay. And uh, for the sake of time, we'll try to keep this review to like five or 10 minutes. We'll just kind of look at key positions. So there goes the C4 again. I really got to just drill this into my, into my, my brain. I tried 95. I keep talking about it, but I never do it, so. I just feel like I had to defend C2, right? So engine saying go here. Ah, uh, so it just blocks in. All right, so even if he takes with the knight, I just have the queen. Ah, right. Okay. I need to get better about blocking bishops in with knights. Um, It's something that I, for some reason, just tend to ignore. But yeah, Let's just look at... There goes our wonderful c4, finally. Hmm. 
I'm surprised the engine wasn't too worried about his bishop coming in here. Knight c2, yeah. It looks like the engine did prefer just running the knight back, so... That's an inaccuracy, huh? Maybe I go queen e2 to defend these. And now his bishop is pinned. Is that kind of the idea? Take, really? Ah, sure. So his bishop is pinned, so I could have just kept going for these. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I failed to realize that. That's a that's a nice tactic there. Right, then I just would have had check with the queen. I just felt like h5 was going to be a bad spot for the queen once uh, he had some space to roam around. He was trying... I don't know. It seemed like he didn't really respect his kingside castle and he didn't want a, a long castle either, so... I don't know. I think he should have just castled earlier. That's just my opinion, though. Yeah, this was a really, really good pawn move. Um, he sort of recognized the fact that my bishop was just in a really tough spot. Yeah, pawn c6 really made him make some hard decisions. Yeah. He chose to go for it. I wonder if he could have castled at this point. I don't know if it would have been any good for him or not. Maybe not, huh? Maybe that's not great. Hmm. What would he do here? Run backwards? Interesting. I wonder if he would have had a... No. Engine evaluation still says that this is uh, in my favor quite a bit. Man, what a bloodbath in these few moves here, huh? Taking the rook. Let's see. Hmm. Oh. Was a nice skewer there. I want to I'm really curious about this position because I thought I thought he would have just won if he got a pawn onto g3. Right? So let's play this out if rook takes. Oh, well, the engine recommends for his king to move, but realistically, I think he was aiming for that pawn, or excuse me, aiming for that bishop. So h3, knight f6. I don't think he would have went for that. I think he would have done something a lot more aggressive. Doesn't he just have mate in two here? Oh, no, 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 duh. Uh, queen's or a bitch, pawn's protecting that. Never mind. Duh, stupid me. It's really late for me. It's like 1 a.m. Uh, that's what I'm going to blame, at least. Yeah, really good knight move by him. Um, I failed to notice that. I, I thought we were just going to trade off queens here, but obviously not. So what would have been his next move? There. Oh, queen d5. Hmm. Oh, and he couldn't really protect here. I see, so would he, he would have been forced to run, and that would have been a rook. I see, I see. Now I'm up uh, eight points of material. 97. Hmm, queen e4 check. Ah, uh, sure, queen g7. Ah, uh, and then trade off queens. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Interesting line there. Oof. I'm uh, kind of afraid to look at these. 
moves. Yeah. It was hard to let go of the bishop here, but I just felt like it was a sacrifice that had to be made just in order to protect h2. I mean, what would the engine really recommend here? Oh, just taking with this pawn? Hmm. Doesn't he still just win here? Or am I severely missing something? Oh, right. Discovered. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Yeah. Ah, discovered check. I see. But even then, wouldn't he just win? I don't know. It's, it's my turn, so I could keep checking him. Queen a4. Okay. King d8. Okay. Well, let's not play the theoretical engine line, but let's just play this out. I'm really I'm just really curious. I think he would have done something like this. Realistically, me being me, I probably would have taken the pawn. Ah, and he uh my king could have escaped. Sure. But then my king would be sort of a uh, out in the open while he has a queen and two rooks, which I was trying to avoid. This was so bad, huh? Queen f3 was a good move. Yeah, the pin. The pin came in uh, to be pretty valuable there. Hmm. I moved the wrong rook to c. C1. Hmm. Ah, right. That would have just been a free knight. Yeah, what was I thinking? Right. I probably could have protected with the rook, but... G7. Ah. Free knight. I see. Kind of a missed fork there. Uh, where should I have gone here? Queen d7. I was debating between queen d7. It just seemed like it was too slow. Where would he, where would he have gone, though? Hmm. I personally feel like he would have started running onto this diagonal here. This is so bad. This is so bad. It's a blunder. Rook c6. I was thinking about that, but I just figured I would have lost my queen at some point. King h5. Okay. Takes. So just trade queens off. Oh no, because that's check. And then queen and then queen h2. Ah, uh, so I could have won a queen that way a little bit earlier. Okay. I failed to recognize that. Uh, that could have been a check there on h6. This is probably my favorite move of the game. Um, it was really satisfying to sort of be able to get his knight and his queen um, with one move. That, that was really satisfying to be able to find that. I just noticed he kept on lining up his king with his sort of really valuable pieces on these ranks. <laughs> So I was just trying to find some way to exploit that uh, at some point. So, yeah, trading off the rooks here was a good idea. That's cool. That's so bad too, huh? Man, so many inaccuracies. Okay, king h5. Yeah, and then push the pawn up. h2, sure. That's so bad too, huh? Take with the king. Oh, and that, now I just have mate in one? Oh. <coughs> right. Okay. Cool. Well, this game could have ended a lot uh, earlier. But, uh, yeah, GG.
I was mostly having some fun in the end game there. Um, I wanted to practice a uh, mating, practice this mating pattern. Cool, but yeah, GG. Uh, yeah, really fun game. Um, found some nice tactics. I avoided blundering the queen. Always a bonus. So uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching, and uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.